Hello, my fellow Aldi addict. It's Jackie. I am at Aldi. It's Sunday morning. It's a little later than normal because my son let me sleep in, so that was nice, but now it's much busier than normal. So let's get inside and see what I'm getting for this week's week of groceries, and don't forget at the end, my meal plan for the week. So let's see what's in store. Elsie's teacher asked for crackers and granola bars for the classroom snacks. In case kids forget their snacks, I'm going to get five packs of these at 79 cents. I am going to buy brown sugar and cinnamon and blueberry um, breakfast biscuits, basically like the Belveda, $2.69 a piece, but they're great for school mornings with milk. $1.49 for everything bagels. These are my favorite. I love to snack on them before dinner sometimes. You guys know I love the Italian bread. I wasn't here early enough to get any red stickers. $2.65. I am making cold pork sandwiches this week. I have pork in my freezer, but I'm going to get these potato rolls for the buns, $1.99. 85 cents for white bread. Basically, this has been toast or Nutella sandwiches for lunch. My daughter Elsie will be super pleased with me. I'm getting apple cider. I've been looking for it every week and it's finally here, $3.75. I'm also going to get red grapes at $1.19 a pound and two things of strawberries at $2.19 per pound. Mandarins for $2.99. These are easy for lunches. My kids all love them. I'm getting a pound of green beans at $1.65. You just have to be careful because if they're a little slimy, they'll go bad very fast. Mini cucumbers, $1.99. Most of my vegetables, I found more frozen veggies in my freezer this week. I am going to get apples. I'm going to get the gala apples at $2.99 for a three pound bag. I've been craving these with peanut butter and cinnamon. Just have to find the best bag. I was hoping, oh, there it is, pumpkin spice. My daughter will love this. I actually don't have any bagels for her this week, but I'll ask her what kind she wants, but she loves this. So I'm gonna buy it ahead of time, $1.49. And then for myself and the everything bagels, $1.39. A couple of you mentioned eggs going up in your area, but ours are not, they're 67 cents a dozen, but they are limiting us, and they haven't been, I don't think. My white milk has definitely gone up, two oh six for a gallon. $2.89 for butter. I'm getting heavy cream to make more Alfredo. My husband's on an Alfredo kick, $1.55. And then I also saw this pumpkin spice creamer. I make my kids lattes, $2.05. Vidalia onions, $1.59. I'm making a French onion chicken recipe my mom sent me, and I need Vidalia onions. My daughter has been loving the grape tomatoes in her lunch, so it's a really easy pick, $1.79 this week. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe that they're back. Hamburger, chips, and dill. I haven't seen these literally in forever. I'm going to get them for our pulled pork sandwiches, and I just can't believe they're in stock. You guys have heard me say that how many times? Black olives. I'm making a pasta salad for my girls' lunches this week. $1.19. I don't know when it happened, but all of our dressings used to be $0.89, cents, and I just realized they're now $1.19. That is a significant increase. I'm kind of surprised. But I'm still getting this for the pasta salad for my girls' lunches this week. $1.19. Thankfully, the granola bars are still $1.15. I'm going to get five packs to take to my girls' class. So then there will be 50 granola bars for kids who forget their snacks, which my kids regularly do that. So I'm going to get five of the variety pack. I have not bought my favorite granola in forever. And look, guys, there's one left. It's like it's meant to be. It's $1.99. We are running low on juice boxes. I pack lunch every day for my girls. They're on sale from $2.19 to $1.49, so I'm actually going to get three things of apple juice. Mums are coming. I didn't know they were going to have these, but I was just thinking I needed new oven mitts, and I'm going to get two of this sea foam for $3.99 a piece. That is such a good deal. And then also, it's my son's birthday later this week, so I'm going to find him a birthday card. I think you'd really like probably that one. Ooh, wait, this one. He's turning five. Hope your birthday slays, that's perfect. So there's my son's birthday card, how cute. 
And it's only 99 cents. And then speaking of birthdays, next month is my daughter Elsie's birthday. We bought her a lamp desk, but I'm also going to get her one of these because she loves organizing and office stuff. I think I like the lemon and orange. $9.99. And actually I realized I might as well get her birthday um, card here too because look how cute this is. Here's to a day full of sweet surprises. Perfect for a 10th birthday. Oops, I got two. So I got her card too. Such good values. They're starting to mark down things. So like this bathroom set, which is really cute. Marking down side tables. We still have the Adirondack chairs, the wicker patio chairs, a single set of these. None of these are marked down yet. Once again, they still have all the chase loungers, but less. A lot of these folding chairs. Lots of randoms. I usually used frozen chicken that I prep in my freezer, but I don't want to use frozen chicken for the French onion, so I'm going to get this and I'll cut each breast in half, 380. I'm getting penne to have with Alfredo and the French onion chicken, rotini to make pasta salad, two extra things of noodles just to have on hand. I'll probably get the penne and then a box of spaghetti for our spaghetti this week. I'm getting a jar of marinara, 85 cents, just for our spaghetti this week, and I'm going to use leftover chicken tenders that I have the chicken parm tenders to make like a chicken parmesan and I'm also getting parmesan shaker 219 this is a staple in our fridge we just ran out this week $1.69 for more minced garlic so pumpkin is still not at my local Aldi I know I've seen other people say it's in theirs but they don't even have the pumpkin pie mix anymore so I have a feeling they're making room Okay, these are not part of the French onion recipe, but I thought they'd be really good. $1.85 to go on top and with the green beans. I'm going to get six of my favorite unflavored liters of water, 55 cents a piece. It looks like fall has arrived in the Aldi Finds food aisle. So many good things. Sparkling cider. They have the Honeycrisp apple cider like this. I'm actually going to get two jars of these and have them as a side with one of our dinners. I know it's not the best fruit, but my kids and my husband especially will love these. $1.29. We did buy them last year. I'm going to see if my husband would want these. He loves these wafer cookies, but I don't know if he'd like pumpkin spice, so I'll ask him. Okay, these were not on my list, but they're one of my absolute favorite Aldi Finds items. $2.19. Yummy. We are driving to Baltimore again next weekend, and I'll probably shop again before then, but I know my husband wants $1.35, these peanut wafers for next time, and since I see them, I'm grabbing them. I'm not getting any of these, but I've always really enjoyed the different peppers, spices. Definitely recommend at $2.99 a piece. I'm getting black Parmesan cheese for Alfredo sauce. $1.69 for black mozzarella. I'll chop this up to put on our tenders to make like a homemade chicken parm with spaghetti. For our pulled pork sandwiches, I'm getting Havarti, $2.29. Love this stuff. And $1.79 for Swiss cheese to top the French onion chicken. I'm going to get a pico de gallo for $2.95. I love this stuff, but I love it more when it's on sale. <laughs> $1.95. You guys know my daughter loves the significantly spicy hummus with all veggies. So we have all of these specialty rose cones. We have in the past bought the pink ones and really enjoyed them. It looks like they have ran out of most of the mini cones. They have maple and pumpkin mini bunk cakes, frozen kind bars. Always have lots of different fun pizzas. Pizza melt, that looks pretty interesting to me. Still breakfast ones. So last week I mentioned not looking in here because I knew I'd buy things that I don't need. And um, as I'm trying to empty my freezer, this would be really bad to buy. My husband would love the pretzel bites, but I'm not going to get them. 229. 
I think these tackle kits look interesting. We're actually having tacos this week, but I have everything on hand to make it. And if I have leftover pulled pork, pork will also be an option. Um, this chicken, gouda, and poblano ravioli sounds so good to me. But again, I'm trying to get through my freezer. $6.99. I love their dino nuggets. My son loves them, really. But we have chicken fingers in our fridge still from the last time. Or chicken fries. Actually, it's probably the same as those. But they have lots of options. So I need to eat the ones we have before we buy more. But my son loves these dino nuggets. Still have lots of the flavored beef patties. Country style fries. Vegetables, quinoa, and lots of frozen chicken. My oldest daughter requested a flavored ice cream and I'm gonna get strawberry since we haven't bought that in a while and it's $1.89. So here is my cart. I went a little overboard with some of the Aldi Fines aisle so it makes it look bigger, but any guesses on my total? So I got out, I spent $129.66. You guys, it's like I said, screw it to my list and I just kept throwing things in my cart. I kind of can't believe how much I bought. The Aldi finds, especially the Aldi finds foods, definitely got to me. I got pumpkin and apple, I think pretty much everything you possibly could in there. And I can't say I have regrets. Ask me next week when my pantry is once again too full. Thankfully, my meals are still based off of foods that I have in my pantry and freezer. I didn't get too much that I think will just sit for a while, but you can see my meal plan right here. So our meal plan for the week is quite small because we have some fun things going on. I'm making pulled pork sandwiches. As I mentioned, I have pork in my freezer to use. I'm going to make tacos. I'm using leftover pork and then also just my frozen taco meat that I mentioned last week. I have tater tots. I'm going to season them with celery salt. If you've ever been to a Taco John's, they season theirs with celery salt, I've heard. And it tastes really yummy. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I got the pico de gallo for that. I'm going to make the French onion chicken. I will link to that recipe as well. I'm going to make uh, Ray Drummond's Alfredo sauce with penne noodles. I'm going to have green beans either with one of these dinners. We also have lettuce for salads. I'm going to have spaghetti. I have leftover Parmesan chicken tenders from Aldi, the green bag chicken tenders. And I'm going to make like a chicken Parmesan with that. Get those out of the freezer. And then my baby... My youngest turns five this weekend, Calvin. He is five on September 11th. We have a birthday dinner at my in-laws, and then on his actual birthday, we're going to a church event and Red Robin for dinner. So I don't have to cook Friday or Saturday, and then Sunday, we will be driving to Baltimore once again. So I only had to plan four meals this week. If you're new around here and you wanna see some of my favorite Aldi items that you can get for under a dollar, you should check out this list right here. Although with the price increase, maybe the prices have changed a little bit. Thank you so much for watching. Chow down and chow. Also, did I tell you that should be happy or what? Are you happy? Yay, excited.